Hey guys, welcome back to Top 10 Gaming. I'm Ron McKenzie Lafergie. Mario has had roughly, oh, a billion games so far. He's just everywhere from platforming to racing to sports. And while Mario stars in some of the best games ever, he's also got a bunch of games that are just weird. And as you can probably tell, I love weird stuff. Let me know your favorite Mario game in the comments section down below. And if you enjoy this, check out our video on video game characters who can destroy the world. But for now, you've heard of Mario Odyssey, but now it's time for Mario Oddities with the Top 10 Strangest Mario Games. Number 10, Mario's Time Machine. Mario's Time Machine is basically where in the world is Carmen San Diego meets Bill and Ted, plus Mario. You travel through time trying to learn about historical events so that you can get the stolen artifacts back from Bowser. Honestly, I agree that it's a strange place to see Mario, but I would have been all over this as a kid. I really loved educational games, but I'm a nerd and was even nerdier as a kid, so I may not be normal in this. Number 9, Mario's Early Years. A lot of these edutainment games are pretty darn lame, but I can at least see some merit to a lot of them. This one's aimed at really young kids, as the title suggests, and it's an incredibly tedious game. Uh, to be fair, literally everything aimed at preschoolers is tedious as hell, so maybe the real problem is this 25 year old playing a game for 5 year olds, but this game is just so not Mario. Number 8. Super Mario Odyssey. That's right, Odyssey may be the best Mario game in ages, but it is undeniably really, really, really weird. Mario's hat is alive, and if he throws it at things, he can become them. Mario sometimes wears a sombrero, sometimes wears a bathing suit. There are just so many small, weird aspects in the game. Again, in this case, weird doesn't mean bad, but damn is it strange. Number 7. Dance Dance Revolution Mario Mix. Back in 2005, before the days of Guitar Hero, DDR was a way of life. So many people played it, which made Nintendo go, hey, let's put Mario in it. To be fair, it's pretty fun, but it just doesn't really fit Mario. Everything from the music to the breakdancing on the cover just screams Sonic. Would have been way better as a Sonic game, and the music would have been amazing. But Nintendo got there first. Jerks. Number 6, Mario Picross. Mario Picross is one of the countless puzzle games that Nintendo slapped Mario's likeness onto for money. If you don't know Picross, it's kind of like a more complicated version of the gambling game in Pokemon Heart Gold, which is kind of lame because in this game, you don't get your teeny if you play enough. Honestly, as a game, it's fine if you like Picross, but it's really weird to have Mario, the fast-paced platformer, in an incredibly slow-paced puzzle game for old people. Number 5, Mario's Cement Factory. Don't worry, this game wasn't quite as boring as the title would have you to believe, but it was still pretty boring. And a weird choice. Turns out Mario hasn't always been a plumber, he also worked at a cement factory. This was a Game & Watch game where Mario's trying to load cement trucks. And the gameplay is really simple, but that's to be expected from a Game & Watch game. I just don't understand the decision to make it a cement factory. They definitely could've used pipes and made it a plumber game. So it's a weird choice. Number 4, Hotel Mario. This one isn't so weird when looking at other games on this list, there are a lot of puzzle games with Mario. What's weird for me is the fact that they decided to make it based on a hotel. For reasons unknown, you need to close all the doors in the hotel to progress, the faster the better. Don't know why? But on top of that, as with most Mario CDI games, the controls were terrible and it was widely criticized, sometimes called a puzzle game without puzzles. Harsh. Number 3, Mario Paint. Back in 92, Mario decided he needed a hobby and took up painting. I guess. Definitely wasn't a cash grab for Nintendo, no! That said, Mario Paint was actually pretty fun. There are a bunch of different ways to play, whether you're coloring in pictures or cutting and pasting clip art like in Kid Picks, but my favorite mode is the music creation. You can drag and drop music notes onto a staff to make your own songs, and it's such a blast! Weird, don't get me wrong, but fun as hell, and quite unique. I'd love if this came with Windows rather than stupid Microsoft Paint. Number 2. Super Mario Sweater I've talked about this one before, but it's just too damn strange to not talk about. Super Mario Sweater is a game where you design a sweater. Yeah, not exactly the action-packed adventure we're used to. The cool thing is though, you could send your design in to Royal Industries and they'd make the sweater for you, even matching it to your body size. I kinda wanna start a petition to bring this back, I'd be totally down. Plus, it would give Nintendo more money, for which I'm sure they'd be down. Number 1. Super Mario Bros and Friends When I Grow Up Oh yes, <laughs> this one's a winner. This was a game that I, I guess was made to teach kids about various jobs, but the thing is, it's literally a computerized coloring book. 
It's not Mario Paint with all sorts of different things to do. You just have a bunch of different job descriptions along with pictures you can color in. That's it. The game doesn't even have music or sound of any kind. It's kind of hilarious how pointless it is. That's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please smack that thumbs up button and subscribe to Tom 10 Gaming for more videos. While you're down there, let me know the strangest video game you've ever played. And if you want to see more, check out our Top 10 Mario playlist on the channel. Until next time, I'm Ron McKenzie LaFerge with Top 10 Gaming. Later, gamers.